This is where the Jewish community gathers in Azerbaijan's second largest city, Genja. There are 150 Jewish families who live here and call themselves Mountain Jews, a reference to their origins in the Caucasus. This was the place where they prepared for the festival of Shumena at Ceres on October the 10th. But a rocket hit a school garden across the street from them that morning. They say they are now scared to come here in crowds because they fear their city has become a target. Since that day, we haven't been sleeping through the night. We're watching over each other. I have a bunker in my house. I gather my neighbours so all of us are safe. We've been sleeping with our clothes on. We've piled up some supplies, including our children's clothes. Aida Sayira says Azeris and Armenians had lived in peace until the fight for Nagorno-Karabakh began in the 1990s. She says people's ethnicities and religion was never an issue here. We used to be all together at festivals, weddings, funerals, but some of the Armenians changed suddenly. We're not fighting the Armenian people, but the fascists. Jews account for less than 1% of Azerbaijan's population of 10.2 million. The Jewish community here, like other Azerbaijani citizens, has been uncomfortable since the rockets hit here. The remainings of the rocket also caused damage in the nearby buildings. Windows were broken. We had to cancel our gathering. Our children are scared. Before Armenia and Azerbaijan attained their independence from the Soviet Union in 1991, there were 390,000 Armenians who lived in Azerbaijan, including the 145,000 in Nagorno-Karabakh. But the latest official data says there are 120,000 Armenians left in the country. Figures say 160,000 Azeris from Armenia had to escape back to Azerbaijan, and a further 800,000 were displaced after Armenian forces occupied their seven cities around Nagorno-Karabakh in the early 90s. Armenian churches have been preserved as historical structures in Azerbaijan, but they are not open for service. Locals say the remaining Armenians here do not like to reveal themselves, and some of them have even changed their names. Many Armenians and Azeris say they have lived in these lands in peace before, but the last three decades have been years of dispute and conflict. Some say coexistence is still possible if Azerbaijan has control of Nagorno-Karabakh, but others oppose it, arguing that there has been too much killing and suffering. Sinem Kosolo, Al Jazeera, Azerbaijan.